All right, I had a lot of questions last year about how I created my igniters for my fireworks. If you look on the internet, there's a lot of talk about using igniters and dipped in pyrogen, which you know it ignites and then ignites the actual you know, fuse. But I didn't want to fool with pyrogen, so I'm using I made some igniters that don't use pyrogen. I still use the uh, nichrome wire. It's a very high high gauge. Uh, high resistance wire used in toasters and uh, hair dryers and such. Probably can't see it. It's like a 52 gauge, something like that. And copper tape. Copper tape you can get off eBay. I went to Lowe's and asked for copper tape and they looked at me like I was insane. So I folded my copper tape into a kind of accordion type structure and threaded the wire through that and ended up with a lot of these, of course, after soldering the uh, wire. There's a little loop of nichrome wire there, you probably can't tell from the camera. And take a little copper tape with your little loop of nichrome wire and tape it. I taped it onto these little uh, cardstock heavy paper pieces. What you get is something like this a little stiff. Uh, backing with a bridge of nichrome wire. After that, here I'm using some uh, white paper Chinese fast fuse, uh, very fast burning fuse. Uh, you can use it in substitute for quick match if you don't have any or if you can't get any quick match because they can't ship quick match, but they can ship this. So I'm going to open up my loop here, put this right in here. Then I went through a lot of different methods of uh, taping and such, but the uh, zip tie method has proven to be best. And again, zip ties on eBay are dirt cheap, as is most things. So I'm going to zip tie this down, like so. Okay. Now we have pretty much a finished igniter. Trim off the edge of my zip tie, make it a little more neat. Now you can always use your uh, multimeter continuity tester. That wire is so thin that sometimes it can break when you're actually attaching the fuse. Let's make sure it's still got it. We still have continuity between there. And now you have your igniter. Send roughly nine, nine and a half volts through that. The nichrome wire heats to white hot and then breaks, which lights the fuse. I can demonstrate that. Here is, oh, wouldn't you know, nine volts. And here are some wires. So, what I'm going to do here. Attach one edge, one wire here. Ooh, and my red to the other side. Like so. Now we're going to have one side connected to the battery. And the other side, well, I'm just going to have to take you along with us. Because as you can see, there are a lot of fireworks in here. This is the end result in my fireworks rack. We have a bunch of our igniters connected to fireworks. So we're going to walk out here real quick. There we go. So here's our battery. And when I touch the other side of this to the other side of the battery, it should ignite the igniter, which should ignite the fuse. Ready, set, go. There we go. And that's my method.